also putting a big bet on streaming Amazon. The online retailer confirming it's spending close to a billion dollars to buy the live streaming service Twitch. So what is Twitch? Well, think of it as an online arena where millions of spectators watch individual gamers. Cameron McIntosh has our story. So we got to pack out. His fans know him as Luigi Dragon. While he takes the video game League of Legends seriously, others take his playing seriously. This is your channel. Yeah, this is my channel. This is a, a VOD, a previous video that I made. Okay. He makes and broadcasts videos of himself playing through a website called Twitch. It's kind of like watching sports. If you know how to play the game, then you know what's going on. So you kind of understand it. It's kind of entertaining. Um, and it's all live. Gaming is Twitch's focus. Little known outside of that culture, it's the fourth largest source of U.S. internet traffic, with some 55 million users. He's got the pick of the litter here, really. It's on the forefront of so-called esports, slick professional video game competitions. This one last year drew more than 30 million viewers, more than the final games of the Stanley Cup and World Series combined. Amazon is buying it for $1 billion, banking on viewers content to sit back and watch others play. There's commentary, color commentary, just like in a football match. This technology watcher calls it a no-brainer for Amazon's video game business. Video games are a very large industry. They compete actually with movies to be what's going to be a larger uh, media industry these days. Uh, and millions of people play video games. They buy video games. But it could go further than that. Twitch could move out of video games into music and documentaries, challenging YouTube and Netflix. Just like YouTube, Twitch users can make money with ads. <laughs> Meanwhile, esports are rapidly legitimizing. Top competitions like this next month in New York are worth millions of dollars. The U.S. is even granting participants athletic visas, while one American university is starting to offer varsity scholarships for video game teams. I would wish I could do that. Like a, a full-time job as a living, it'd be like wonderful. As a casual user, Matt has already made a few bucks. I can see the potential in it. Not bad for what many simply write off as a passive hobby. Cameron McIntosh, CBC News, Winnipeg.